Good morning, my word nerds. Hello, 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 and welcome to the wonderful Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. There's something wrong with my neck today because my head seems to be bouncing around on it. But anyway, my name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls, and each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarticles. I have a hard time making that sound right now because my back teeth are all banded together. The good news is I am out of my braces, my trays on my teeth. For a couple of months, I get a little bit of a reprieve. Good morning, Deborah. So there are no braces on my teeth, so I shouldn't have as much of a lisp for the next couple of weeks or this next couple of months. Um, but I can't make the sound when I do the smarticles. I can't make that in the back because I have all these rubber bands that are like holding my mouth together. Good morning, John. So I have a really hard time doing the horse clicky sound. I can't do that in the back of my mouth right now. My tongue just, I, I can't, I just can't. Cause of these things, I mean, seriously, I could play like a tune on these things. <laughs> Cause they are all over the place. I have a box one and then I have a triangular one. Oh, that one came off one of the band's things. I gotta fix that. Anyway, and then I got two over here. Yeah, I'm just all kinds of wired up right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm learning how to talk again, um, which I seem to have to do every few months when I'm going through this orthodontia change. Um, but in the meantime, I got to tell you, I'm really liking my smile. I'm not totally in love with it yet, but I'm super happy with how straight everything turned out. So Anyway, let's just get to the word of the day. Enough about my silly teeth, okay? So today's word of the day is a word that I am certain you have heard at some point, but without hearing it in context and knowing exactly what it means, you may not have completely understood why they were using it, how they were using it, when they were using it, and all that fun stuff. So let's get to it. It's superlative. Superlative is today's word of the day. It's the word super, S-U-P-E-R, super, and then an A, or I'm sorry, and then lative, L-A-T-I-V-E. Now, you would think it would be superlative, but it's pronounced superlative. The emphasis is on the P-E-R-L, superlative. So before you even get into the, you know, you, you do the SU and you do the lative at the end, but the PER, P-E-R, that's the part that gets the emphasis here. Like in super... It's the SU, super, and in lative, it's the LA, lative. But when you put it all together, it's superlative. So it's the PER that actually gets the emphasis. Superlative means of the highest kind, quality, or order, or supreme. So super, superlative, supreme. See where I'm going with that one? So when you hear the word superlative, it basically just means the best of the best, the highest kind, quality, or order. Um, so things that you could use this for, um, if you've got a whole bunch of resumes on your desk, you could, you know, separate the, the good ones from the bad ones and the cream of the crop would also be known as the superlative candidates, right? They're the highest quality or order or supreme of all of the resumes or candidates that are sitting in this pile. So that's one way to use it. Um, another way to use superlative would be, um, it's, it's an adjective, right? So when you're describing something that is like the best of the best, I took the, the most superlative vacation last year. You don't even have to say most. My superlative vacation story is the time that I went to Jamaica. Um, that was my absolute best. I, you, that's kind of why I threw that in there, John, is cause I know you're a recruiter, so it would, this is definitely one, you could even throw this at some of the candidates to see whether or not they have good vocabs. Woo! That makes you sound smart articles. So anyway, <laughs> I am trying to make that stupid noise again. So anyway, superlative, that's what it means. I want you guys to have super fun with this because I know it's a word that you've heard before, just maybe, you know, not in the right context. So now you know what it means. It means the best of the best, cream of the crop, the best quality or order of a thing. Okay, I missed that last comment. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, you guys, and get to work because I may not have a superlative job, but 
I'm still a superlative employee and I'm going to go to work and I'm going to do what I got to do. So, <laughs> and that's just the way of things. So superlative is your word of the day. Use it. Don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. And I can't wait to see you back here. The next couple of days, I will probably not be scoping at exactly between 8 and 8.30 on the Pacific time zone. Um, I'm going on a little bit of a trip. Um, I do have words prepared. They may come later in the day. They may come in the middle of the day. Um, oh, a superlative nachos would be like the bomb.com for lunch today. Although anything crunchy doesn't sound very good right now because my teeth are kind of sore. Um, but I do have a couple of really fun words for Friday and thir Thursday and Friday. Um, I'm taking a little trip. My daughter's birthday was on Monday. My other daughter's birthday is on Saturday. So um, we're going to go do a little girl bonding time. So I will get you guys your words of the day. I just can't promise when it will be. Okay. So have a great, amazing thir Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. Have an amazing Wednesday. Um, and I will see you guys. So uh, thank you so much. They are special little girls. Well, big girls now. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I love you all, and I'll see you sometime tomorrow, okay? Bye now.